Yes, the e-filing system, uh, Jeffrey, is scheduled to go up in um, in April. And with this e-filing system, people will be able to file their cases from the comfort of their home or their office. Uh, the pilot is going to include commercial litigation in the law division. So pretty much we're talking about attorneys, but we will for that particular pilot. But we are setting the system up so that both attorneys and individuals may be able to file electronically. Yeah, I think that's a great idea because it'll make it easier for pro se litigants uh, to seek out justice, and also uh, it'll benefit clients that do have attorneys because it'll reduce um, legal billing to clients uh, because e-filing will will substantially save on expenses because lawyers won't have to go to the courthouse or send paralegals or clerks to the courthouse to file documents. So this should be a substantial savings uh, to many clients, uh, which could be very valuable. Uh, and I think that's a great, a great idea. And also, I'm here with Alex Roseboro, uh, who uh, works very closely with, uh, with, with Congressman Danny Davis. He's on the Council on, on Responsible Fatherhood. And every year we work with Congressman Danny Davis in, in, in helping him put on a fatherhood event at Malcolm X College in June. And, uh, you know, I'm very excited because I know I, you, you, I did see you at one of the events, and I'm really hoping this June you'll be at the Fatherhood Symposium uh, at Malcolm X again. Yes, I, I'm usually at that event or have a representative. And we come and we talk about uh, the expungement process because many people uh, have, uh, you know, lost their children during the time in which they were uh, having some legal problems. So we talk about the expungement process uh, in our office at that particular Father's Rights uh, event. Yeah, and that's a very important process because I talk to many dads that sometimes uh, are just completely unable to find employment uh, because of a, uh, a, a criminal matter uh, that uh, can be expunged, but they don't know how to do it. So uh -huh. expungement is very important. I, I spoke to Alex Roseboro uh -huh. about that earlier. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. and, and Ms. Brown, I, I'm, please forgive me. I, I know there's a, a, a certain protocol for addressing you, uh, whether it's your honor, not your honor, but uh, for some reason the honorable uh, Mrs. Br Ms. Brown, so anyway, I, I'm, I'm messing this up. Please forgive me. I just wanted to make sure I was addressing you in the appropriate way. Uh, I was going to ask you if you were going to be sponsoring any, any more uh, or any uh, expungement summits for the year 2009. Yes, so we will be mm -hmm. having, and, and you all, I can barely hear you now. I was hearing you very well earlier but I'm trying to make sure I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I think you asked me about an expungement summit and whether or not we're going to be hosting that. Yes, and, and also, if I'm doing the right, uh, addressing you in the right manner, you know, my mom Oh, always, yes, uh, oh. Uh, Dorothy Brown. Okay. It's fine. Um, I, we will be hosting an expungement summit the first uh, Saturday in June at Roberto Clemente High School, uh, the same as we've uh, hosted uh, year after year. Uh, we're also going to be hosting a foreclosure summit in the South Suburbs. Because oh, we've ho we hosted two of those, one in October and one in November. And it's really uh, an issue that is affecting people more and more right now as well. So we're going to be hosting that as well. And we're looking for a location on the South Suburbs to host that right now. But uh, uh, the first Saturday in June, mm -hmm. we will be hosting the expungement summit. So we're inviting everyone come up to Roberto Clemente High School. 